My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris and Solaris Quest Editor. In this tutorial and in the next two tutorials, I will explain the concept of layers. Um, we'll start with the basics in, in this video and then we will do uh, two more advanced examples of what you can do with layers. Um, so every map is uh, composed of one or more layers and they allow you to specify which entities should be displayed above or below other entities uh, in a quite easy way so that can be used to make for example um, trees whose leaves will be displayed above the hero and also more powerful things like uh, a bridge that uh, can be traversed by the hero above it or below it on the on the same map and some platform systems in inside dungeons like this and stairs and uh, yeah very powerful things and uh, quite easy to do with so I was quest editor so in this video I will uh, uh, define layers and, and show you the basics. So every entity on the map, uh, which means the hero, teletransporter, tiles, uh, has a layer. So its layer is just a number. Mm, by default it can be between 0 and 2, which means that by default maps have three layers, but you can create more of them uh, by changing these numbers here. Uh, th three layers are more than enough for most maps, I would say. Um, so you can see the layer as a third coordinate for your entities. Your entities have an X and a Y coordinates, uh, but you can see the layer as a Z coordinate, like if we were in a, a three dimension world. So I just put a tree here. Let's see what happens when I run the map. So it works. <laughs> the leaves of the tree are displayed above the hero and uh, the, the trunk is uh, displayed on the same level as the hero. Do you say the trunk in English? I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, so how did I achieve that? Um, actually, the, the leaves were created on layer 1 here, and all the rest of the tiles are on layer 0. So everything that is on layer 1 will always be displayed uh, above everything that is on layer 0. Um, so you can check the layer of any entity by right clicking it, but uh, it's easier to use these buttons here, show layer 0, 1, 2, uh, you even have the keyboard shortcuts 0, 1, 2. So if I hi hide layer 0, uh, I only see my leaves here because everything else was on layer 0. And I can do the opposite, I can hide layer 1 only see uh, layer 0. Okay, let's create maybe another tree. So here it's the same. I have the leaves uh, displayed above the hero. And okay, so how did it work? Um, it's actually a property of my patterns here in the tile set. I could edit the tile set and and define the default layer uh, where entities are where tiles are created from this pattern. And 
So by default, the, the layer of the leaves will be one and the layer of this will be zero. You can change it later, of course, by right clicking it and, and changing the layer here. Um, let's see what happens if I, if I put both of them on layer zero, it will look quite bad. I will actually be able to work uh, on, on the leaves, which is really not what I want. Um, yeah, and it's, it's a, it's a sa same concept with the bigger tree here. For example, like this. So by default, my leaves were created on layer 1 and the rest on, on layer 0, which is correct. That looks good. Um, so one important thing is that uh, you don't want to be confused between ordering entities uh, on different layers and on ordering entities on the same layer. Because even if I only show layer 0 here, uh, I have a lot of entities they are already overlapping each other. So they also have their have their own order on layer zero. Uh, this one is in front of that one, for example. This one is, is in front of that one. So you can reorder things on, on the same layer uh, by using bring to front or bring to back here. This will, if you do bring to back, for example, now the <laughs> this style is below the grass, so that's really bad. Let's put the, this one to back again. You can use T and B, which means top and bottom, as keyboard shortcuts. So these will reorder your tiles, but it will never change their layer. Um, so if you have some bug, let's say, where um, I'm trying to create something that will look weird. For example, if this one is on the wrong layer, let's say, and you try you try to do bring to back, it will not really work because it's still on the wrong layer. You just reordered it, but it's still on layer one. So you can't you cannot put it below. Uh, tiles that are on layer 0 because it's on layer 1. Okay, so what I'm trying to explain is just that when you do bring to front or bring, bring to back, you change the order of entities but they are still on the same layer. So here you would really need to do to change its layer to 0 and then uh, bring to back will bring it below everything that is on layer 0. So now it's also below this one. So let's again do bring to back on, on the big green one. And now it is correct. So if you are ever lost between your uh, with your tile ordering, don't forget about layers and use these icons to check that every entity is on its correct layer. It will really help. Um, OK. Let's make a second basic example here, uh, which will be a bit similar. We will show things above the hero, and we will need that to make doors, actually. Let's say that we want to connect these two rooms. So I just created door tiles. Um, but here in, in this tile set, what I, what I used is the basic door tiles uh, and everything was put on layer 0 so uh, the hero is displayed on the same level as them which is bad we want to show something above the hero um, you can notice that uh, near every pattern of door you have these 
which are actually the, the same patterns, but they are meant to be placed one layer above. So by default, they were placed on layer one, which is correct on my map here, because the rest is on layer zero. You can check it again with these icons here. Layer one, layer zero. And yeah, you don't see the difference when, when, we, when you hide layer one, because uh, these happen to, to be repeated on, on layer zero. I mean, ah, the tile on layer one that I added is also already visible on layer zero, but below the hero. Which is a bit confusing. We, we could fix that later. But here, uh, for this purpose, we are OK. Uh, so my door top is now correct, but I still need something to hide the hero when he's uh, between the two rooms. So I can add some other tile to to make a ceiling. And let's use this one uh, like this. So I need to put it actually everywhere. I'm doing this with, with a right click, which allows to quickly create multiple ones. Oops, this one is not really at the right place. OK. And yeah, I created some ceiling, but I forgot to check on which layer I created them, so it's <laughs> actually still on the wrong layer. La yeah, layer zero. If I want to display it above the hero, I need to put it on layer one. And you have some keyboard shortcuts to uh, put them one layer up or one layer down. It's plus and minus. OK. So now it should be a bit, a bit better. Except that I can actually walk here <laughs> because I didn't put any constraint. Uh, so this is, this is not really related to layers. I mean, it's not a layer issue. It's just, just a tile issue. I didn't put anything to block the hero and Hey, yes, he can just walk there or, or here. So what I can do is just, so I just, uh, yeah, I want, I want to hide layer one to see what I'm doing. And I want to put some uh, walls here on layer uh, zero so that the hero is blocked correctly. And since I have my ceiling on layer one, it will hide uh, these small walls that I just added. OK, so now I'm correctly uh, blocked. I cannot go um, left or right. OK, so that's how you make a door. It's not completely trivial, but once you have one of them, my recommendation would be to just select it and copy paste it somewhere on on the, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. On the storage map, inside store, let's call it like that way. And this is a door template uh, that you can put on any map. For example, I can copy paste it again. It does contain the correct uh, door tops as well because I selected both layers when I did my copy paste. So that can allow you to easily create another door here. I don't know if it's correctly centered, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, that's how you create doors. Um, I hope that you understand layers better now. Um, in the next two tutorials, we 
we'll do some cool examples of um, more complicated complicated things like uh, uh, a platform system here where the hero himself can uh, go to the lower layer uh, at runtime and same oops same on an, an outside map here um, where you have some bridges the the hero will be able to to traverse uh, across the bridge or under the bridge and to jump here from from this cliff this cliff for example and yeah so still a lot of cool things to to show about layers but I hope the basics are clear enough uh, and that you can feel now more comfort comfortable with creating doors and trees so if you have any question feel free to join our discord and we will be happy to help as always thank you and see you next time bye